light of this comment, we're gonna go over the top three fallacies. And number three is gonna go to appeal to authority. This is a mid fallacy, bro. So basically, appeal to authority is when your argument for something is that an authority figure said it, so thus it must be true. And it's mid because you're basically painting yourself as, oh, I'm a little good boy and I listen to the orders from authority figure. Oh, yeah, like, dude, you're getting played. And number two is gonna go to ad hominem. Listen, 99% of people don't even know what an ad hominem is. Ad hominem does not equal insulting somebody. I can insult somebody and it's not an ad hominem. And ad hominem is very specific, okay? It's when your argument for something is attacking that person's character. So let's say, for example, I say that more stable exercises are, be are better for muscle growth. And then somebody says, oh, but you're small. That is an ad hominem because your only argument is like you saying I'm small. And this is so cringe because like you have nothing better this to say other than that. So it's like you're showing your lack of into intellectualism, okay, to say the least. Number one, it's going to go to the straw man fallacy. Like, this is so common and it's so easy to get away with. Basically, a straw man fallacy is when you twist somebody's argument in a way so that you're able to make it easier to argue against. The original commenter did a straw man fallacy. Another example of a straw man fallacy is when McMahon tried to say that neuromechanical matching tells us what muscles are the prime movers when that's just not the case at all bro doesn't even know what neuromechanical matching was i had to flip and explain it to him 